All you young professionals out there, we are in for a treat. We're sitting down with Mr. C.J. Bell, founder and CEO of The Connect. What's going on, sir? Hey, man. Good Happy having you. Happy to be here. Happy to be here, it's good man. <laughs> man let, me, let me say something. You are by far the most connected young person. <laughs> and I'm saying young person like we're not the same oh, age, right? Man. But help me understand something. One mm -hmm. thing that I love about The Connect, mm -hmm. you, 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 why did you start that organization? What, uh, what is it founded on? How did you get yeah, to that? Yeah, so I have to shout out the Urban League mm -hmm. um, under under the inaugural cohort for the James H. Gilliam Fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, my policy in this is millennial retention, right? Okay. I was raised on, it's not where you are, but you know, your experience is what you make of it. So of course we're in Delaware. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, oh, we're surrounded by, you know, Philly, Washington, right. you know, stuff like that. And I'm just like, okay, well, how about we build something here? So mm -hmm. I just took, I literally started um, Timothy's Riverfront Grill. Mm -hmm. And I just invited my friends that, you know, we just graduated. Mm -hmm. And then I just thought about people that, you know, you were in an industry that they wanted to be in. So if you wanted to do become a lawyer, I brought a lawyer. And I just handheld people at the bar. and was right. like, you need to talk to this person. Right. So that's and how it came about. And you know, it's funny, <laughs> Delaware is very, big on relationships, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And for mm -hmm. as small as this town is, everybody knows everyone. Yep. And I'll never forget the first time I went to one of your um, functions, it was a happy hour, mm -hmm. introducing mm -hmm. uh, the general public, more young professionals, millennials, Gen Z's, to uh, this organization that you had founded. And what I love is the organicness about it. There yes. was no yes. intense expectation. Yes. <laughs> like, and, and do you feel like you made it that way because of how you had to navigate professionally um it's just from you know peers feedback mm -hmm. honestly uh we we built it very intentional i tried to build the connect and i'm just thinking about a networking event right one people hate the speed dating hey i'm so and so <laughs> this is what i do yeah. like that yeah. if you think about it, that takes a lot of time from yeah. the event so okay let's build the event as if i was an introvert mm -hmm. so simple things like you're not going to put your name on your name tag because in realistic time, like I'm not going to remember your name once right. I walk away from right. you in about 10 right. minutes. Right. So you're going to put the career industry of interest you're in. So now if I'm like a little shy or mm -hmm. a little hesitant, I see you're in the industry I'm in. Mm -hmm. It's an easier conversation mm -hmm. that happens more organically. And mm -hmm. that's just been something that we've really pride ourselves on just because it's, it's hard to get people to come out. Like if you think about it, how many speed dating events are? still going on right it just doesn't really happen so now um just a little bit about your background you're currently working with newcastle county yes matt meyer yes right yes my uh, guy <laughs> yeah but before that you were working at, you and i would cross paths yes. when i was working yes. with colleen davis state <laughs> treasurer you were working with senator carper mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. else have you worked with uh worked with senator carper uh you know campaign coordinator for governor carney in his last re-election campaign so big shout out to okay. him as well um, so those have been the three principles I work for. Mm -hmm. uh, people say I'm going backwards. I started federal, <laughs> state, now local, but mm -hmm. um, it's been an experience yeah. and it's, it has definitely helped me see how much Delaware actually has to offer. You right. know, I, a lot of people say Delaware is a small state. I really think it's just a small ecosystem. A lot of mm -hmm. people okay. move in the same circles, hang around the same people. So naturally you're going to, you know, you're going to feel repetition, but the connect you know, we pride ourselves on there's one number, it's dropped a little bit, but it was, used to be 52%, now it's 48, and that's first time attendees. So what that means is if you come to a Connect event and you come to the one, you know, a later on, there's a chance that, 48% chance, those are gonna be all new attendees. So what does that mean? They're adding to an ecosystem. Wow. So you may not know these people, you know, so. It just goes to show that Delaware isn't small. We're just not expanding our outreach. And, and that's good because, you know, you and I both mm -hmm. haven't been a part of the Urban League Young Professionals, another mm -hmm. great um, mm -hmm. external way to mm -hmm. connect. But there's been so many um, young professional organizations that I, I always saw the same individuals. Like yep. You and I would joke yep. sometimes, I'm like, CJ, if I see you one more time at this event, but uh -huh. when I would come to your uh -huh. Connect event, mm -hmm. it was very organic and mm -hmm. folks that I hadn't even met before. Mm -hmm. So how, do you, how did you, tap into a plethora of individuals that other young professional groups haven't mm -hmm. tapped into. What, what, um, I'm, I'm going to go back to my first boss. I'm going to mm -hmm. go back to Senator Carver. And one thing he's always taught me is to have people around you that's smarter than you. Okay. And smarter. for me, building my team out, I had to make sure I had people that were smarter than me and also that would challenge me. So that means if I, if I design a team of all CJs, we're going to all think about the same crowds to attract. Okay. But if I'm bringing people on and be like, CJ, this is, you know, behind the scenes, like, no, this is wrong. We're not doing yeah, that. Yeah. Um, you naturally are going to get a different crowd. So I've been very intentional about, you know, bringing on team members that are not myself, that are actually going to compete with what I'm thinking about doing. 
And that has naturally just allowed us to expand, you know, just a broader outreach, a broader ecosystem. And just like I said, being intentional, man, we, we try to put each event a theme to it. So a theme of a certain industry. So whether that's small business, whether it's entrepreneurship, whether that's law, like, you know, different things of that sort, trying different events like karaoke night. We've been really successful with that. So, you know, that's that's really how you build that, you know, and, and continue to get different people and not have the same repetition. Right. Now, you also have had, while it, while I love when I'm attending, it's very organic, but it, it, it's just staying focused on that alone. You've mm -hmm. got folks from real estate. You've <laughs> yeah. got folks in insurance. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I met so many different individuals, uh -huh. digital marketing yep. folks, you know, and, and to see them grow their network mm -hmm. by just coming to a happy hour mm -hmm. where individuals can connect with folks that they would never even meet. What do you typically hear that individuals walk away from um, after connecting, they meet the guest speakers, like what do you, what's I've, the norm that you've heard from folks when they leave? Your a event? lot of people, they don't expect what they, what, they, what they get out of it, right? They expect, oh, I'm just coming out, you know, my friend told me, or I, I seen this event, you know, and, and just thought about showing up. And for them, it's like, wow, like I got so much more than I expected. That's usually the response I get. Um, I've seen group chats get started after, you know, after these <laughs> events. <laughs> Um, I've seen people actually like, you know, come together to start a business and I've just seen jobs happen. You know, a lot of it is indirect. Right. And, and sometimes that's hard to measure. Um, but you just have to be very strategic in how you do your data management and your data analytics to be able to show forth like, hey, this is a productive organization bringing together different people of you know, all sorts of backgrounds. So what's next for you? Now, you're, you're working in government. Yeah. You've, you've worked in yeah. government, still working yes. in government. Yes. You're, for some you're, reason, you're reaching I keep out coming back. To, yeah, you keep coming back. Right? <laughs> you're reaching out to individuals our age bracket mm -hmm. to help them mm -hmm. broaden their professionalism. Mm -hmm. What's next for you? Um, the next thing for me, uh, it may sound a little cliche, um, but it's just to show young professionals that we really do have a voice and we really can create momentum. So one thing we're pushing um, and expect to hear a lot of noise about it next year during election year 2022 um, is last call law. Okay. So one thing that, you know, keeps Delaware, I, I guess, hard to be in the millennial hub play, you know, play around is we have an early last call law. It's the second earliest in the nation tied with, I think, South Dakota and um, I think Alabama as well. Alabama has an exception where certain cities have a, you know, a later last call law, but we have a pretty early one. It's definitely the earliest in the mid-Atlantic. Um, so what we're trying to do is get legislation for, for to go from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. And doing that AM to 2 AM for, for last call. So for, you know, extending bars, you oh, know, so, okay. so forth and so on. So that allows us one it's, it's also a safety issue just mm -hmm. because I know a lot of people just like you do as well, mm -hmm. that will leave a bar, <laughs> go to Elkton, you know, get some more <laughs> drive the state, to Philly, right, you know? Right. So, you know, we're really, we're really trying to push that. And that's the next thing I, I really want to show young professionals that we do have a voice mm -hmm. and we can make a lot of noise when we come together. And that's huge because that's going to be an economic boost, wouldn't it? Wouldn't yes, you say for the yes. city, the especially, county and the yes, state? Especially the city um, yeah. and, and the economic development that they're driving here. Downtown development districts such as Newark, you mm -hmm. know, that's a university hub. Mm -hmm. um, I can see Dover really benefited from it as well. And a couple of other emerging places that, you know, has some construction going on. So. That's huge, CJ. Yeah. Not only are you connecting young professionals, our age bracket, to broaden their mm -hmm. professionalism, mm -hmm. but you're also getting them involved with the process yes. to keep them yes. here in the state. Yes. Because like you and I, mm -hmm. you know, we'll joke mm -hmm. off camera, well, I'll go to Philly, <laughs> I'll go to DC. Uh -huh. Like you can't uh -huh. really hang out, but yeah. you're trying to keep young professionals here yeah. as well as broaden our professionalism. Yeah. So I can't thank you enough for all that you're doing, man. Thank you. Keep, keep up all the great work. Now, is there a membership requirement to be a part so of? So we, we just started memberships last year. Um, if you visit our website, theconnectde.com, uh, you'll see the membership options. You'll see ways to get involved. And you'll see the last call law legislation that we're working on. Um, but for us, like I said, it just goes back to being intentional. How do, you, how do we define a young professional? Well, a young professional is first someone who has a living wage. I can't expect you to be out and about in this community if you're worried about your, your rent and your mortgage, right? Mm -hmm. The second part is just being an active citizen. So we teach political advocacy, you know, in the guise of a happy hour. 
And then the third is giving back. So we do, you know, all sorts of things, back to school drives, toy drives, okay. mentorship opportunities. And studies show the more invested you are, the more likely you are to stay in that area. So That's awesome. when you combine those three, you cultivate people to, uh, you know, kind of fit that definition. That's awesome. You'll naturally have more young professionals in the state well, of Delaware. Listen, anybody that's running for office, they better hit you up <laughs> because you got a oh, plethora of young man. professionals and you're helping them with job <laughs> professionalism. Like, man, you, yes. you're killing all yes, the sectors. Man. So yeah, we're, well, I can't thank you enough, man. We're here, man. Yeah. Well, big shout out to CJ Bell, founder of The Connect. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.